Hey y'all, Crystal here from the Mommy Glow Up and happy Monday. Um, okay, so I'm going through this time. This is my second attempt for this video. But anyway, just going through this time where um kind of reevaluating my life. I probably say this a lot in all my videos, but I really truly am going through a season of tests and trials in motherhood, in marriage my personal life purpose, my walk with God. And, um, you know, I just wanted to pop in real quick to just <sighs> say to you moms out there, you know, be sure that you don't miss the opportunity. Just be sure that you don't miss out on opportunities that are being presented before you. Because if I sit and I reflect on how 2017 went for me and even previous years, and it's not that I'm dwelling on the past, but you know, you reflect at times to see how your life was at a certain time. It's kind of like how Facebook reminds you what happened on a certain day a few years ago. And I and Facebook has, they, Facebook has been doing that to me lately. Um, but... Um, you know, it's kind of like when you reflect, you have to reflect because you have to look back on what did you do good? What did you do bad? What happened in life where you were in a good place? What happened? You were a bad place. You know, what what were the lessons to be learned? Did you pass the test? You know, that's what I'm going through right now. And what I'm experiencing right now and that I really truly feel in my heart, in my spirit is that I have to continue to tell myself to not miss the opportunity. When there's opportunity, don't miss it. Now, I say that because, yes, like, I'm going through a time right now where I'm going to be moving. And I have been praying, like, you guys, I've been in the house with my parents for two, almost two and a half years. Um, me and my husband, my kids, we moved in here because we were on hard times financially. And it just seemed like we could not pick ourselves up for nothing. Like, we couldn't get on our feet for nothing financially. Every time we tried to do something, we would go backwards. It was just, it was crazy but we were so caught up in our environment and our circumstances and mindset was just shot and didn't know how to respond to the events that were happening around us that you know I couldn't see the bigger picture um until God really grabbed a hold of me and was like okay Crystal this is what you're doing wrong like I kept questioning like I was in victim mode like I was in a victim mindset and I was saying why is this happening to me why can I do this why can I do that and I read this book called personal accountability and um it changed the perspective of how I ask questions and it's like how can I get out of this situation or what can I do differently to you know to handle certain situations because things had come so become so repetitive in my life that I was like I couldn't even recognize what was going on and at the end of the day, it's all mindset and how, however, whatever place that your mindset is in is how you're going to handle things that come at you. So back to missing opportunities, for instance, I was praying, I have been praying from the time I moved in here with my parents to move, like to move Lord, open doors. You know, every time I thought we had the money or a job opportunity would come for it and okay, this is the opportunity to move, you know, we're like, okay, let's go, let's plan, let's do this, let's do that. Something will always happen where we couldn't move. So my husband either would lose his job or the job opportunity that I had didn't go as planned or we didn't get approved for an apartment. And, you know, I was just seeing it all like, why, why, why God, why God, why God, but then the big banger came when <laughs> just a few months ago, October of last year, like my husband went to another state and him being there within a week turned into him staying in another state. So now it's like we're about to move to another state. And last week, God spoke to me and he told me that, you know, you're about to mess up an opportunity. You have to see opportunity in everything and trust that God will work everything out for your good. Because I'm like, this is not the time to be moving to another state. Like, we don't have money. How are you going to leave me here with three kids? Now you're free. Like, I was looking at this situation the wrong way, just in every wrong way. Like, I was like, oh, my God, he is free. He don't have to worry about the kids. He's not in my parents' house no more. And I can't seem to get free. That's that victim mindset. And that's what keeps us in our situation 
um, and why we can't get out of things because of how our mindset is and how we're responding to events. Um, and I didn't, I don't want to miss the opportunity. And I read something in this book called the success principles, and it says to see an opportunity in everything good or bad. Of course, if it's good, but sometimes you don't see the, the, the expanded opportunities and the good things, but see opportunity in everything and trust that God is going to work it out. And I almost missed the opportunity. I was about to sabotage this move in so many other ways on so many different levels than I really realized. Like the fact that, you know, I was saying, I'm not about to move. I don't want to move. So here I am about to tear my family apart because I don't want to move to Georgia. So instead of trying to keep my family together, I'm trying to have it where we're in another state with me and the kids and he's in another state which is going to cause so much more commotion and problems and disunity and no peace because now we have to figure out how family life is going to work now that we're separated. That's not God's um, purpose for me and my husband and our family. The purpose is for our marriage to be in unity and our family to be in unity. And I was about to mess up the opportunity to move to this other state because I'm only seeing things selfishly and not only that just allowing these thoughts and these and people's opinions and just different things to be to come into my ears and cause me to lose focus of what God is really trying to do in my life and then like I said I was praying you know God please move us but I'm expecting God to move me in the way that I want to be moved so for instance you know Lord I just want a little apartment for me and my kids and my husband, and we could just move. I just need to get out of my parents' house. That's the only way I was seeing it. So, you know, we would go look at houses for rent, apartments for rent. Okay, yeah. In the city, in the state, right here where I'm comfortable. Because, you know, you try to stay in that comfort zone. And God is just like, no. You asked to move. So, you're about to move, Crystal. But you're not seeing that. Just because it's not happening the way that you wanted it to happen, you're about to miss the opportunity. So here I am, like you see that white door, this white door right here. I'm looking to walk through that white door because that white door has everything the way that I want it. But instead, God could be like, okay, but I'm going to need you to jump out that window right there. Yeah, you want to walk through this white door, but I'm going to need you to jump out that window right there. This is the way I need you to go. And this is how it's about to happen. Your prayers are being answered. You have the opportunity, but because you only could see your white door that says crystal on it, crystal's way or no way, you're about to miss. Look at the light. Oh, Jesus. The light is like, look at the glow in that window. The, you, what I'm pointing at right here. You see that window right there. Look at the light. That's like God shining his light and saying, here, God's way, Crystal's way. I'm looking at Crystal's way and I see darkness, right? Looking at God's way and I see light. And I'm about to miss it because first off, I'm going to be like, Lord, I don't want to jump out the window. I just want to walk through the door the right way. And when I walk through that door, it'll have things the way that Crystal wanted it. And y'all, oh my gosh, this is what we do in motherhood and this is what we do in marriage. And what we don't think about is that when we're not when we're not seeing opportunity in everything, we can cause delay and sabotage things in our children's lives, in our husbands' lives, and in other people's lives connected to us because we didn't go through the window where the light is. We wanted to go through the door where where not necessarily saying your way will be darkness, because God could you know, your way could still work, but it might not work as good as the way that God was telling you to go. So that's how you can miss opportunity. And I just want to encourage you, mom, that open up your eyes and just look around at your situation. And even if you're in a bad situation right now, when you feel like things are just not working out for you, you're not living a life that you want to live. You've been praying and asking God to make this move and make this happen and make that happen. And even it might be things in your marriage, like, Lord, why is he doing this? And why? And I don't want this marriage no more and blah, blah, blah. It's a time of testing. And in your test, like, 
you're, you have to learn. Like God always takes us through this process of growth. Find the happiness in it. Think about where you were and where you've been and where you are now and where you're going. And then think about what God, what moves God are making in your life. And then I want you to think about if you're sabotaging the opportunities that God are about to present before you because you're only thinking about yourself. Like for me, I was in such a selfish mindset that it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. I was in such a selfish mindset, even thinking about it right now, because I just got off the phone with my husband about a decision that I have to make. And right now, my heart, I'm asking God to search my heart because once again, I feel like this decision could mess up the opportunities that are being presented before me. So bam, I, he just answered my question on, on what to choose. Do I choose you know, this move and my husband and my family being together? Do I trust God? Do I be obedient and follow my husband? Or do I choose the door because it's gonna, it's what's going to work out for Crystal? So because it's going to work out for Crystal, it's going to work out for everyone else. And that's not how it goes. And that's how we miss opportunity. So I want to encourage you to just see the light be faithful, have all faith in God and trust him that even though things aren't looking the way that you want it to look and, and you don't miss out on the fact that God is answering your prayer or, or he has already answered your prayer and you just missing it and you keep missing it and you keep missing it because you only see your way out. Your way is not always the opportunity, obviously, because God showed been telling me that for the past few years, like Crystal your way is not the way. Follow me. Trust me. Have faith in me. Jump through the window. Just go close the door. Let me go. See what I'm saying? Close that door, Crystal, and leave it alone and trust me. Close the door. Close your door and open my window and jump. You say you trust me and you have that much faith in me. Jump. Here's your opportunity. It's like, Lord, I want to go my way. I just want to walk through the door, Lord. That's all I want to do. I just want to walk through the door. That's it. I don't want to jump out the window. I don't want to jump out the window. I don't want to jump out the window. But God's saying your, 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 your opportunity and your answer, the answers to your prayer is through this window. And, you know, some people still mess themselves up and be like, yeah, God, I know you're showing me that that's the way. I mean, clearly he can do everything in his power. And we know he has all the power to show you this is the way. And you still, because of fear, complacency, and um, doubt and worry and no confidence, you still walk through your door knowing that that was not the way to go. And God has been showing me, get out, don't cut, you open that? Yes, you did. God has been showing me that it's time for me to try another way. And he's telling me to jump through the window and there's my opportunity. So even right now that my heart is like, ooh, I don't want to do this. How is this going to work out? And of course, you know, so many things will be presented before you where you you just see all the wrong in every situation. You see everything that's going to go wrong with it. But I'm trusting God, you guys. And I want to encourage you to trust God and don't miss out on the opportunities and what God is telling you to do. Because look, like my beautiful, beautiful little girl, like I don't want to delay their lives and I don't want to delay the purpose in me. Being obedient and trusting God can do so much for their lives. So just want to encourage you guys, don't miss the opportunity. Reevaluate your mindset. Reevaluate your mindset. Stop. And um, remember to glow. Remember to affirm yourself. Remember to love yourself. And remember to trust God and have all faith in him. Because don't be around here praying and saying, Lord, I trust you. Can you do this? And he already answering your prayers and you missing it because you only trusting in yourself and your answers to your solution. Yes, God gives you the key. But guess what? God still has the power to turn that key and open that door or that window. So until next time, you guys, I just wanted to pop in and encourage somebody. 
follow me on Instagram at the mommy glow up and let me know what you think of this topic. Talk to me.